Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back to do a type of TBR video for 2024. I have seen other booktubers do this, and I thought that this would be a great idea. So this is tentatively, these books will explode in 12 months. So sitting behind me is my to-be-read shelf. So these are the physical books on, that I have purchased, I have been given, some books I had currently borrowing from my parents, but they are books that I do want to read. It is a uh, three by four cubby bookshelf, so there are 12 cubbies, which I thought was perfect for 12 books for this tag. So we are going to choose one book per cubby. Starting with my literary shelf. So these things are like mysteries. These are just books that are not nonfiction and they don't fall in science fiction or fantasy neatly. So coming to this first category, choosing a book that has been on here for a while, I am pulling The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. This is I had a note in here saying that I received this for Easter back in 2002. That's the year I graduated high school. So this is one of the books that I need to read this year or it's going to explode. Moving on to the second section. As you can see, I kind of do my books by height. That is my thing. And I think for this, I'm going to go with this one. Now this is Mr. Penumbra's 24 hour bookstore. And I'm choosing this one because I have not finished it, but I have already started it. So I'm going to make this one of the ones that I have to finish this year or it will explode. Going on to my third section. I am going to choose Love and Color by Bolu Babalola, and this is Mythical Tales from Around the World Retold, which I love folklore, so this should be interesting. going to my fantasy shelf. I am going to choose a River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Now this is an arc I received the other year and I'm choosing this because I have also started this book already. So I want to finish it. Otherwise it will explode. Kind of following that same theme, we're going to go with Savage Legion by Matt Wallace, who I enjoy reading his works, or I have, a, I have enjoyed his Sin Du Jour series. This is a young adult, and I know that I said I was going away from young adult, which might be one of the reasons why I didn't continue with it. However, the character's that we kind of started following are more adults. So maybe this is really more of a new adult, but I have already started this and I kind of have a theme going. Let's go ahead and get rid of the books that I've started by making me have to finish them or they explode. So now we have these, this shelf and we're going to go with this one. 
this is The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. Again, I have started this and never finished it. This is the second book in the Mistborn first trilogy. I loved The Final Empire, which is the first Mistborn book, but I never finished this one. I got to the point where they introduced Zane as a possible secondary love interest, and I went, this is BS. I should finish this though. So we are now to my sci-fi shelf, the one that sits directly behind me. Now I know a lot of people think finish Douglas Adams, however, that this is an omnibus and I've already read the first one. I'm slow reading these. Instead, I'm going to go with this one. This is Escaping First Contact by T.S. Byer who actually happens to be one of the other guest judges on the book invasion team. I got this book a while ago because the group I was in was going to read it and then I never did. So I want to read this and if I don't, it's going to explode. So going to this middle shelf, one, two, three, so five books that are on here are part of the self-published science fiction contest, four of which, three of which I'm definitely going to be reading because that's part of the plan anyway. So I'm not going to choose one of those because that's cheating. What I am going to choose is Harrow the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. Now I just recently bought this in hopes that it would get me to find the finish it. I have started this, gotten out from the library many, many times, and I was like, you know what? Maybe having the physical copy myself will help me finish the book. And when I bought this, I also bought Gideon the Ninth, which I have read and love. So if I don't read this in the year, it's going to explode. So now we're on to this one. We are going to go with this book. This is Kindred by Octavia Butler. This book scares me. It is so well known and beloved that I have been scared to pick it up. So I'm putting it on this list. So if I don't read it within the year, it will explode. And this bottom shelf is the non-fiction. For this one, I am going to go with Digging for Richard III. Again, it's a book that I have previously started and then never finished. In fact, you know, right there where the page is, that's what I've been using as my bookmark, so I need to read it or it explodes. For this metal section, I am going to go with Prisoners of Geography. Ten maps that explain everything about the world. My husband has read this. He loves it. It's time that I get it read, or again, it will explode. Which leads us to the last section, which is, I know, kind of hidden behind me. And for this one, I'm going to choose ADHD 2.0. And this is a book that is supposed to talk about ADHD and better, more information about the science behind it. I picked this up because my stepson has ADHD and I wanted to better understand him. So I've also started it and just haven't finished it. So this is going to be on that list as well. So I now have 12 books that if I don't read them in the next year, 
they will explode. Which books do you think that I should prioritize reading first in this next year? I'd love to know what you think. Please leave me a comment down below.